Hey guys, welcome back to Chang's Aquarium. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading so many videos. <laughs> I've been a little busy at work, but we've got live fish that I just got from Aqua Huna. Now I do have a little bit of bad news though. This is like wet at the bottom. So I'm assuming the bag is leaking, it's popped, or it's already too late, but we're gonna find out. Because stuff happens sometimes, you know? Live guarantee approval. It smells for me, but it's a little wet. We have a couple of fish in here today. So let's see what we got in this bag. Our first pick would be our Panda Corridoras. I've got six of them in here and they're all doing fantastic. Well, not fantastic, not very active, but this bag is wet. But one, two, three, six. Ooh, these guys are a lot smaller than I wanted them to be. But Coolie Loaches, I think these guys are really cool. They look like little eel, I'm oh, sorry. I think these guys are really cool. I think they look like, again, like I said, little eels. But they're a lot smaller than I expected them to be, but they'll grow pretty quick. I've got two already. And guys, so this is my little surprise. I've got puffer fish. I've got real life freshwater puffer fish that did not make it. Or he did make it, I can't tell. It looks like he did not make it, I, I can't really tell. sucks we're gonna leave this one there i know this one did make it because he's moving well, it looks like he's moving i can't even tell this water smells funny but whatever oh they're alive they're moving i've got two of them two little baby puffer fish they grow pretty big. I got them, they were, they were a pack of two for, I think, to be honest, I don't even remember. I think it was like $25 for two of them. But these guys are super duper cute. Look at this, look at the size of them. You can barely see them on camera. These guys with the coolie loaches, all really small, are gonna do great. Now, these two are gonna be going in my uh, 15 gallon, I think it is. 15 gallon um, column tank. They won't be staying there for very long. I'm just gonna let them grow out in there until I can put them in my 150 gallon tank, which would be my show tank, basically. But until that, they're a little small, I'm afraid they're gonna get bullied, picked on, even swallowed. <laughs> so I do not want them to hurt my other fish or for them to get hurt. So until they're big enough to defend themselves, I'm going to be putting them in there with, with a couple of other fry. I have a bunch of couple little fry I got couple of fries in there. These cool loaches are really cool. Like, wow. I think they're really cool. Okay, so I can either rip this bag up and lose the bag or open this metal thing. Let's open it. So in terms of just grab Cut it. 
these guys are doing great. Now, I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them. I don't know where these guys are gonna go. But I opened the bag to let some fresh air in there. We're gonna put these guys in the fish in the fish tank so I can start accommodating, getting the temperature correct. So follow me. So they're gonna be going in this tank with the blue light. I'm gonna be letting them sit in the water like that. So you can see them in the video. Two little guys. Now they're gonna be going in there. And in here, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put, what I'm gonna do with the coolie loaches. I feel like they're a little too small to put in here with the angelfish and my little betta. Cause, you know, shit happens and they could eat them. And I don't want that. I have four angelfish in here that don't look big enough to hurt them. And then they might be going actually into this column tank, my coolie loaches. Just until again, they're big enough to go in my 75 gallon tank right here with the other two I have. Right now they're just probably worm size for most of the fish in my in here. Like the, like this angel fish, I know would pick them off. These guys are aggressive and my king betta male would definitely eat him. Or pick at it until it falls frail. A little aggressive little guy. But I'm trying to see if I can show you guys one of the bigger ones. Don't mind the algae, but he's back here. Now, what we do is just grab this bag full of coolie loaches and we just dump them in here. And we let that get ready. Now, from a pandy corridoras, panda, pandy, panda corridoras, grab the bag. Now, I was thinking about putting them in here. Well, my last batch of pandas did not do too well, but my golden laser cores are doing great. I think they're pretty big, they're growing fast. I don't know if you guys can see them because I don't see them myself, but I can't even see them. That's hilarious. Uh, they're a little bit back there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's one right here. I don't want to put them in here because I'm afraid that they won't do so well. That sucks. I'm going to put them in this bottom one. My albino corridors are growing pretty quick. So yeah, I'm gonna mix them in here with them. Well, while we wait for that, I'm gonna pause the video right here and while we wait for them to get rid um, temperature adjusted. This is fresh water fish, it's not salt water, so I don't, I'm not gonna do the dripping, anything like that. Just drop them in the tank and wait for, and wait for it to be ready. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So right now I'm going to be releasing my little puffer fish. I'm going to put him in a little container so we can get a better view of what he looks like. So, one thing when it comes to puffer fish, you do not want them to come out of the water so they don't expand. Because if they do intake the water, it's a self defense system, remember. If they take in the water, it actually could end pretty bad for them, it could end up killing them. So, you don't, you want to try to stress them out as least as possible. Find one little puffer. 
He is so cute. One's a little bigger than the other, but they're pretty much the same size. And they're in there, they're just at the bottom, but I'm hoping once they get more used to it, they'll end up something a little more. These guys are really cool. I'm gonna get some close-up photos in a bit. Man, just man. I only see one, I don't even know what it's in the movie. Oh, okay. They both just laying down at the bottom. Fair enough. We're going to be releasing my Coolie Loaches. Looks like little worms, but... These guys are super duper cool. I got six of them, and they're all doing great. They look like little eagles to me, and I just love the pattern on them. I didn't get all, all black ones because I just don't like the way they look. And I think the all black ones are actually a little more expensive. I like the stripes. It's just a personal thing. I like color. On all my fish. What are they medicated or something? I don't know, but we don't want that kind of water, so what we're gonna do is just dump all of that. Let's see, this big bag of burns. Really, really ugly. This guy's are like literally one of the worms. Let's see, 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 they are loaches, they're not actual eels, but the color on these guys, I just think is fantastic. There's one, there's two back there, so that'd be three, four, five, and I don't know where the other one is, it's probably hiding back there, but thanks for watching, guys.